If only you knew the power of the dark side of the force. You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. And Jessica. <laughs> and what we are talking about has nothing to do with the forest or the dark side. Are you sure? Maybe. That's another NPA. It's cold. It's cold out here. What do you think the temps are? In the 30s. Yeah, probably the low low to mid 30s right now. And it was it was even colder last night. And it's gonna be colder. Yeah, it's gonna be colder. Probably in the next coming days, it's probably gonna drop into the low teens. And we're not just giving this weather report <laughs> <laughs> for any particular reason. I'm sure you're going, oh geez, okay, thanks for the update on the weather. There's a reason why we're talking. It's cold out here and NPA videos for a while are probably gonna have to come to a close. Why is that? Because it's cold and living things don't like cold. These living things <laughs> don't like, definitely don't like the cold, I'll tell you that. <laughs> We're gonna talk about hibernation and dormancy and... I'm probably gonna be a very a little bit hyperactive in this video, but it's mainly it's just to keep warm. You're not hibernating. I wish I could. <laughs> yeah, but hibernation is, would you call it, an adaption that animals use when there's periods of food shortages or cold temperatures that they need to survive. Usually it's viewed as something that happens in colder climates, but it does happen in the desert, especially here now when it's cold and there is not a whole lot of food. Yeah, it's a smart, smart way to go really. Shut it down for the winter. Shut it down, which is weird because that's when people are usually more active. Now, when the heat's when the heat's not up, that's when uh, people like to get work done and stuff like that. Well, we do. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold for me. I think I might actually rather work in the heat, the summer sun. See what you're saying in July, though. That's when I get all my power. Summer heat! Ah! I'm perfect for the desert. I'm on the desert animal, apparently. <laughs> The way that animals hibernate is they will slow down their metabolic rates, their heart rate, their body temperature, kind of a lot of their bodily functions kind of get slowed or reduced and it helps them get through that period of time. But there are different levels of hibernation that range from just like a slight torpor, kind of sluggishness, to some animals that go into a completely dormant state where like, a lot of their bodily functions just shut down, they appear to be lifeless, and they can even withstand freezing temperatures below freezing. I'm definitely in a torpor state. Much like me, in a torpor state. <laughs> these, are, these are other desert animals that you might find. Not exactly completely dormant, but definitely... They slow down. Definitely slow down. Desert tortoise. They dig these burrows in the ground and they'll hibernate in there in the winter. And that's uh, usually like October through March. Some bats, their heart rate gets reduced from 600 beats per minute to 20 beats per minute. Whew. Could you imagine that kind of heart slowdown? The common poor will. It's a kind of bird. And it's the only bird to go into like a deep hibernation. So I was reading how researchers that study the bird, they can like shine lights at it, pick it up, and it'll just be. You know, I can totally relate yeah. to that right now. Other things are kangaroo rats, ground squirrels, rock squirrels, rattlesnakes. Thank goodness for that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they can stay hibernating. And gila monsters. Probably all the reptiles. Yeah. Cold-blooded. <laughs> so animals that hibernate, they'll, usually they'll periodically arouse and 
Some of them might eat a little bit of food that they have stored away. Some of them don't eat at all and they just rely on body fat that they have stored. And some might come out and rewarm themselves in the sun and that will help to correct any chemical imbalances that happen during a, a low metabolic state. But if they are unnaturally disturbed and aroused during those times, that could cause a problem. Uh, because if they are relying on fat stores, they're gonna be using that up when they wake up unnaturally and they could end up starving. So it's not a good thing to disturb hibernating animals. Uh, Don't do it. I'm sorry, you you got me laughing at unnaturally aroused. Oh my god. <laughs> so mature. So of course uh, a lot of your desert plants go dormant in the uh, in the winter. And some of these won't even wake up until the the monsoon rains come again. Yeah, they want to just conserve water. And of course, we've been getting a lot of water lately. But that's cold water. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the that's my favorite water to drink. Um, plants are different. Of course, we've got that uh, the mesquite tree out here. Well, we've got a bunch of mesquite trees, but we got one planted. But they will end up losing some of their leaves. Maybe not all of them, but definitely some of them. Now, the desert willow, the other. Uh, tree we have planted that will lose all of its leaves. Yeah that's like full-on deciduous. Full-on deciduous. Acacias like if you look out here into the background it looks like like a dead forest out there but they're actually they're actually just dormant and then when the when the summer rains come it's all it's all lush and green and beautiful. Of course the grass goes dormant and yes, there's grass in the desert. We're kind of in a desert grassland area here. Some annual plants will die. The seeds will uh, go dormant and uh, remain that way until the summer rains come. Along with the plants and animals, this uh, segment is probably going to have to go dormant for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but don't worry, when things come to life again, we will, we will be, be bringing more information on this for sure because we love learning about this just as much as you guys. Well, and it, super important. If there are any content creators out there and you guys want to get involved in that, put out some videos about what you, what you got going on in your area. Oh yeah, we'd love to see that. For sure. Native plants and animals, wherever you are. <laughs> We're putting out the Native Plants and Animals Challenge! <laughs> Even though this is the last NPA for a while, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned something today, if you enjoyed the video, if you haven't subscribed, please do come back we'd love to see you definitely share with a friend or two because they want to be in the action when uh, everything comes back to life and follow us on facebook instagram and twitter all right thanks a lot for watching everyone bye remember these are not the desert species you are looking for <laughs>